Hey guys, welcome back. So we're starting out by priming the skin. So I'm using my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade. I desperately need a new one because I'm running low. And then I'm going in with foundation. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. And I've just mixed some of those together and I'm applying that using a damp beauty blender. Then going into the TARDIS Pro Glow palette, I'm taking the cream contour palette, no, the cream contour color, and I'm just applying this using a duo fiber brush from Real Techniques and applying it to all of sort of the perimeters of my face and anywhere I want to recede. And then I'm just going in with my Beauty Blender once again and dabbing all of that out. Then moving on to the eyes, I'm priming using MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm using a Sigma Precision Bake Kabuki, I believe it's called, and I'm just applying this all over the lid. Then going into the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, I'm mixing two of the shades together. These are just matte light colors just to set my eyelids in place. And then I'm going in with this warm tone shade. I don't know any of the color names, but I will have them all linked down below for you guys. And I'm just using a blending brush just to blend this into the crease. Then going in with a more cool toned brown and it's a little bit darker, I'm using a 217 brush by MAC and I'm just applying this in the outer corners and then bringing it into the crease. And here I'm just adding a little bit more product just into the um, crease and bringing it more towards the inner part of the eye. Then I'm going in with this dark purpley shade and I'm just using a Sigma pencil brush. I'm just applying this to the outer corner and the lash line so I'm just making it look really smoky kind of corner basically. Then as you can see I'm just dragging a little bit more of that colour in towards the crease. Then I'm picking up the dark black shade. It does have shimmer in it and I'm just using the same brush and just smoking out the lash line even further. So I'm sort of bringing it out into a wing in the outer corner and then just smudging it into the lash line. And then once again I'm just going in with my 217 and blending it out. And then I'm taking the warm shade down the bottom. It's like an orangey brown shade. It's really, really beautiful. I'm just using my Sigma E40 to add a tiny bit of this into the crease to give the look a little bit more warmth. And then I'm taking this matte kind of creamy shade and I'm just applying this to the brow bone. I'm really tongue-tied today. Then I'm going in with, I believe it's called Bellini, and I am applying this with my finger to my entire mobile eyelid. And then going in with some Sigma Gel Eyeliner, it's in the shade Wicked. This is my new favourite gel eyeliner, I just don't know why I haven't been using it more. I love it so, so, so much. So I just applied that to my lash line and then I'm tight lining with some Rimmel eyeliner and then curling my eyelashes, applying a little bit of Maybelline Go Extreme Mascara, I think this one is. I'm just applying a thin coat of that and then going in with Socialize Glamorous Lashes. Then moving back onto the skin, I am going to conceal using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. So I'm applying this underneath my eyes in a triangular shape and then all down the center of my face to act as a highlighter. Um, so then I'm just taking the pointy end of my beauty blender and dabbing this into my skin. To make sure my concealer doesn't budge, I'm setting it using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus. And I'm just pushing this into my skin with a Real Techniques contour brush. Then I'm going in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Wardrobe Palette. And I'm just using one of the shades just to set all of the other areas of my face to give it a nice glow. I love doing this when I want glowy skin. 
And then I'm going back in with the TARDIS Pro palette and I'm just using the powder contour shade this time on a Sigma small contour brush and just carving out the cheekbones around my nose, all the areas I use the cream contour basically. I'm just setting it in place using a powder contour now. Then for blush, I'm using MAC Melba blush. This is one of my all time favorites. It's a beautiful corally matte shade and I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheeks and then blending it back. And then for highlight, I'm using my favorite highlight out of the TARDIS Pro Glow palette. Um, I believe it's called Stunner, I think. I will have it listed down below though, as with everything else. I'm just applying it to all of the areas where I normally highlight pretty much. Then for the lip colour, I went with a nice pinky coral lip. This is Colourpop Button Lippy Stick. Um, and I'm just, yeah, applying this all over my lips. And then to finish off the eyes, I first went back in with my Sigma Gel Liner again and just covered up the lash band now that the glue had dried. Um, so yeah, just covering up anywhere you could see the lash, like meeting the eyeliner kind of thing. Then I mix the two brown shades in the bottom row and I just used a buffing brush just to blend those underneath the eye and then mix the cool tone brown with the black and did the exact same thing except used the more precise brush and stuck to the outer corners more. And then I just took a light shimmery shade to highlight those inner corners and the look was done. I really hope you guys liked it and I will see you in my next one.